Welcome back to another edition of Trial by Fire. And today we are trying a sauce that suits us, basically. Yeah. Um, it's from a company I have yet to do on this channel, so this is the first. I have tried to get their sauces. I just, anytime I saw them, I didn't have the money for it. I'd always run out. So I do have a couple of my own, but this one is one Michelle brought up, or bought <laughs> and brought over. That's it. It is from Proper Heathen. Because we sauce. are kind of like proper heathens. Oh. We're proper. I'll go with the heathen part. I don't know about the proper part. I, I, I tend to be more proper. Pinky's out. <laughs> Uh, this one is, do they have the heat rating on here? I'm not sure if it they have the heat rating. It does not. Um, and I don't but, think I tried this one there. But this is their black and blue. Oh, wait, I think that's the heat Oh, rating. yeah, sorry. I, I, I knew that I didn't. Out of six, they rated a three. So it's a um, mid-level. This is their black and blue, which has berries, bourbon, lavender, and ginger in it. Interesting mix. So let's see what the... Bottle has to say. Hello, I'm hot sauce. <laughs> I was just going to go, hello. <laughs> okay, so true blue, fruity, savory, smoky, floral, and earthy spice. Natural sugars are cooked, yeah, cut to, sorry, cooked, cut to meet the gold texture. Fresh habaneros eat with cheesecake, lamb, Pork, pancakes, ice cream, or charcuteries. Okay, I can see the charcuterie. I don't know about the... Um, but I'm not a big eater of lamb. I don't have a lot of lamb meat. The cheesecake's a little... <laughs> I so misread this. It says, sh quick shake before use, refrigerate after opening. Okay. I read it as, quick shake before the refrigerator use... <laughs> Give your refrigerator a quick shake before you use it. <laughs> oh, get colder! <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this is uh, made with intent is what they put on the bottle. I'm not sure if that, they put that on all their bottles. Did um, we get another one over there? Yeah, I have some line. They're, they're put away at the moment. That's a sneak peek at other stuff. So. Um, mine are the hotter ones that I picked yeah. up. Yeah, I got the mid-level because, you know, I wanted to taste it. So properheathenhotsauce.com, link will be below as well. They are gluten-free. Always good. Uh, I'm not sure the, what the V stands for. Uh, isn't V vegan? Yeah, I'm, I was thinking vegan, but then... I, I think. And sugar-free as well. Nice. So the ingredients on this wonderfully, hopefully wonderfully sauce is fresh habaneros, blackberries, blueberries... Apple cider vinegar, onion, garlic, lavender, I'm oh, sorry, onion, garlic, uh, bourbon, yep. so bourbon whiskey, sorry, salt, diced, diced, oh, dried lavender, black pepper, cloves, and gin, uh, ginger, I think. It, it's very small, Can we right? have ginger on here? I don't know. Oh, no, it was garlic, yeah, and ginger. Uh, made from in London, Ontario. Nice. So they're semi-local to me. But <clears throat> here's your bottle. Here's the kniffles, so you can open it if you need it. Well, this, the, the, the pull tabby ones. Yep. Take all the fun out of it. Exactly. Oh, it had a nice satisfying. I heard the pop. Yeah. It smells good. It looks bluish. Yeah. With the blueberries, it should be. Ooh. It, it has a nice smell to it. Like a very smoky aromatic. Yeah, that does smell really nice. It looks thick, so just be careful when you pour. It is thick, so be careful it when you pour. It ain't moving. Nope. Oh, there no, it is. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. That's what I was hoping to get with just a touch of that. It's a thick one. I think this is the thickest one we've had in a while. Yeah. Oh, you can really smell like that. Oh, see, I'm going to behave this time and manage to only go a little bit. The, I don't know if it's a lavender I'm smelling. It could be. There is a weird floral scent. But I'm also picking up on I the ginger. sniffed it up the nose. And the blueberries. And see, I'm not normally a lavender fan for, like, the scent. But in this, it doesn't smell that. 
No, see, the only thing I'm thinking of with lavender is Thrill's gum. <laughs> there you go. So I'm kind of hoping not on that one. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. That is... <clears throat> I just got a bunch of it's lemon. Getting, getting a bit of kick, but there's, there's no lemon in there. Why am I getting a lemon? <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Must be the, the ginger or something. I'm getting like an almost lemony um, citrusy in with I'm not it. sure what you, how you get that. I'm um, what you'd be getting it from. I'm chewing on a seed, which must be uh, one of the, bee, the berry seeds. Could be. Or black pepper. Come on. Come on. You, you can, can do, do it. I can control it. <laughs> I control. You like to think you can control the sauce. I, I, I controlled how much came out. <laughs> You'd like to think you could. Yeah, it's got a beautiful aroma to it. Just on the aroma alone, I'd have to put that somewhere about a seven, just on the, the, the smell of it. Doesn't matter if I touch it because I already tasted it once. This time I. Brush it all around my mouth. It does have a, a tiny kick. A little kick. But it's more of the garlic type kick. Okay, so now I'm tasting more of the berries. Yeah. But um, it does have a lot of seeds. Mm -hmm. Like I've got a lot of seeds in my teeth. But you know what? It's a texture thing, right? Yeah, it's, it's a chunky sauce. I wonder if that's the dried lavender that I'm chewing on. I don't know. I didn't chew on the seeds. I just swallowed them. I'm chewing on them. <laughs> They're in my mouth. So I get to chew them. Proper <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> heathen. Well, it could be black pepper. Either way, I'm chewing yeah. them. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually... Not bad. Come in. No. <laughs> Trying to get some of that sauce down the neck there. Because um, you can see... <laughs> Hey, look, it's a constellation. <laughs> there you go. You get like one, two, three, four in an arch. Yeah, it's not bad. It's very, very nice and complex sauce. Yeah. It's got a really interesting flavor palette. Mm. Thank God it's not too floral because I'm not a big fan of floral. Yeah, that's... Ooh, what do you think? Me. Where would that sit for you taste-wise? Taste-wise? See, I'm still actually getting different accents yeah. popping out in my it's, mouth. It's very complex. Yeah. The the heat is... Minimal. Yeah. I, I don't want to say like a one for heat. But it's it's because it's a garlic heat is what I'm getting. It's not like it's a... I'm currently chewing out peppercorn, so I'm going to say uh, one and a half to two. Yeah. It, it's it's just your average spice pepper. Or spice is spice for heat. It's not... Yeah. But yeah, it's actually really good. Such a complex mix of flavors. Yeah. And they come out at such different times. It's like it was engineered that way. Um, <laughs> One would hope. It were, this was might have been a happy accident, but either way. Yeah. But yeah, that one is really good. The black and blue from heathen, proper heathen hot sauce. Yeah, that's good. I would pick that up for myself next time because that is actually really good. Um, you could put that on a whole lot of things. I imagine like a baked ham... Or baked chicken. Well, like I said, in their cheesecake would be an interesting. It would be now that I taste the the complex, like yeah. the berries and that. Yeah, be, it might be. Be very similar to like the blueberry sauces we've had that we yeah. put on ice cream. Or I could cheesecake see that. In that. It's almost a dessert, not quite a, a proper. This is dessert. certainly not what you would consider sweet, but no. it, it's got a lot of like natural fruitiness. Yeah, it's not a dessert sauce in that sense, but it, no. it's it's on that border. It's good, but it's definitely a good sauce. I am. Really I'm glad looking, we tried it. I'm looking forward to trying more from this company. Yeah. Proper heated hot sauce. Way to go. Uh, we will try more of them. And as I said, the ones I got were the two hottest ones. Yeah. So, um, start off nice and then we go <laughs> nasty later. I gotta go for the hot ones, right? It's kind of what it is. N nasty is in like, ow. Not nasty is in taste. Because I'm sure it's going to taste good. Yeah. But it's going to burn. Yeah. They're, they'll be a little warm. Because oh. they're both, I believe they're both sixes. And They're going to be warm. Yeah. But then, because it's not a school wool, it's hard to tell like what yeah. somebody puts on a six for one company might be a three for another company yeah. or a nine for another company. 
It's hard to say. But out of six, they'll, they'll be their hottest. But yeah, I do like the way that they do their labels. And yes, it's an interesting company just by name and that. So I, what I do want to look into them more and just see more about them. Yeah, but I would definitely recommend that. But yeah, definite recommendation on their sauce. Looking forward to the next one. So yeah. Till then, enjoy the heat, stay spicy. We'll see you next time, and we'll be trying the links else. will be in the bio, in the bio, in the description, <laughs> in the bio of the video. Um, check out their sauces, and when I have the other ones, they'll be uh, playing us with all their sauces as well. Yeah. So yeah, check them out and take care. Happy feasting, proper heathens. <laughs>